When it comes to Louisville restaurants, there's no debate. Jack Fry's and Porcini are right up there with the best of the best. But which chef has what it takes to outdo the other? Who can best represent their restaurant row? It's Frankfurt Avenue versus Bardstown Row as the chefs from Porcini and Jack Fry's clash in a Secrets of Louisville Chef showdown. Hey everybody, Kevin Harned with you for a special edition of Secrets of Louisville Chefs. This time it's a clash of culinary titans. It's a secret showdown at Cisco headquarters in South Louisville. Cisco is a global leader when it comes to providing restaurants with supplies. And tonight they've brought together some of the finest ingredients from around the world and right here at home for a competition among two iconic Louisville chefs. Let's meet them. From Jack Fry's, Chef Sean Ward. He comes to the showdown with 30 years of restaurant experience and a wall full of Best of Louisville awards. He's been the top chef at Jack Fry's since 1997. On the other side of the kitchen, it's Chef John Plymel. He's always been the chef at Porcini, dating back to 1992. Porcini, of course, is a flagship for fine dining on Frankfurt Avenue. He's a fisherman, a farmer, and one heck of a chef. Both chefs will have a plethora of fine food to work with tonight, courtesy of Cisco. Everything from fresh seafood to prime beef and a bounty of local produce. Here's how this showdown will go down. The chefs will be scored on two dishes each for both taste and presentation. It's time to get cooking. What do you say we get this showdown started with our chief entertaining officer, Tim Laird. Thank you, Kevin. It is a very special showdown tonight. I'll tell you what, representing both sides of the street from Frankfurt Avenue and Bardstown Road, I have some of the best here. First of all, for Frankfurt Avenue at Porcini Restaurant, John Plymel. Hello, John. How are you? Chef Sean Ward, how are you? I'm Jack Rice. Good to see you. Sean, always good to work with both you guys. Do you have any strategies in mind for today's battle? Uh, any I don't thoughts? know. I think I'm going to take Sean's burners and turn them down real low or something. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's really one of those stra a good strategy to have. Any strategies on your part? Uh, watch my burners. <laughs> watch your burners. Oh, here, I'll try to I'll try to keep them away. I, uh, or between you two. So anyway. No, just uh, have some fun. That's what it's all about. Because in the end. This is going to be fun. You know our judges are ready to go. With that, let's get cooking, chefs. Chefs get to uh, shop for their favorite seafood, pick it out for the first dish. Wow, looks like uh, going for a nice uh, fish over there. We'll find out uh, from Sean what he's uh, picked out. That looks fabulous. Looks like uh, Chef Plymel has picked up uh, some nice scallops. All right, Chef. Uh, Tell me what you're uh, planning on to do with this, this fish. I'm going to sear the sea bass and I'm going to serve it with Brussels sprouts. So uh, Brussels sprouts are at the peak of their freshness right now. I'm also going to finish it with a um, light uh, miso and an ingredient that I've come to really like lately, which is uh, a black garlic. Oh, very nice. The, the, the black garlic, uh, does it change the flavor of what garlic is Absolutely, all about? Absolutely, yes, it does. It's a very uh, mild and it gives it um, a lot of uh, sweetness to it. And it's nice, I'll tell you what, this is a, a, a big hearty fish that'll stand up to uh, just about anything from sauces to sides to whatever you want to do with that. Chef Plymel is uh, getting ready. Tell me about the uh, scallops. What are you going to do with these? We're going to take the adductor muscle off of these uh, scallops on the side here and we're just going to uh, season them lightly and then we're going to pan sear them in some extra virgin olive oil so we just get a real hot skillet. We're kind of threefold on our presentation tonight. We're going to do a salpicon, which is nothing more than almost like a chutney or a compote. And we're going to do some fresh mandarin, some fresh cranberry, kind of seasonal right now, sun-dried cherries, just cook it down with a little sugar, a little bit of uh, Shiraz, and just let that go into a nice syrupy consistency. That'll be the sauce for our scallops tonight. And then our other two components, we're gonna do a creamy polenta, and we're gonna take a little bit of Reggiano Parmesan and some mascarpone cheese, and just kinda take that flavor to the next step on the polenta. Oh, nice. And then we have some, uh, some local baby greens, and we're going to braise them with a little bit of garlic and shallot. 
Now, what happened over here, uh, Chef? I didn't see this over here. This is, looks like you've uh, got some fun things going. Yeah, I took uh, a, mir a, a mirepoix vegetables, which is just celery, carrots, and onions, and uh, saute those off. And then I added uh, a diced up scallop so that I can uh, extract the flavor from the scallop um, into the pan. And then I just added a little bit of uh, rice wine vinegar and a little bit of mirin. And I'm gonna reduce that all the way down to a sec, which almost to a glaze. Okay. And then I'm gonna finish it with um, some chicken stock and some uh, red miso. Nice. And I'll tell you, I can see you started with that hot pan because I'll tell you what, there is a beautiful glaze on that Chilean sea bass that you have there. Now I want to get a nice crisp crust on the outside. So that when you bite it, when you cut into it, it should be nice and uh, firm on the outside, but really nice and creamy on the inside. So I've got some Brussels sprouts that have caramelized and a little bit of butter uh, with some whole shallots and uh, a little bit of onion. I'm gonna let that uh, reduce down. Now what is this? Now, is this the black garlic you're telling yes, me about? Yes sir, that is the black garlic. Wow. And uh, when it comes out, it's, uh, it's very soft. Wow, that is very soft. Yes, and it's delicious. A lot of flavor going on up here. I don't know, can anybody in the audience smell some of this uh, goodness that's coming out? Even the back row is uh, here. It smells some of this goodness coming out. So our, our uh, your baby greens are going into the uh, pot now. Yeah, along with our caramelized shallots and garlic, we season them just lightly with a little salt and pepper. Now our scallops are going in now, and I, I notice you uh, put a little bit of seasoning on top before going into the pan. Correct, just a little bit of salt and pepper, just lightly season them. You don't want to over season the scallops because you want that true sweetness of the scallops to uh, to come through. So we have a hot pan, hot olive oil. We're just going to sear these and, uh, and go from there. Chef uh, Ward over here getting ready for the plate up, going down. Here's our start, our little base. And then over here, I see we got a base of uh, the polentas going down. Correct. Getting some nice caramelization on your scallops. Now that's that crust we're looking for. And I know the judges are looking for taste and presentation. <laughs> Chef Ward getting ready to uh, bring out that chili and sea bass. There it comes. Wow, fantastic. This is our black garlic. Okay. Um, and I think uh, it'll just a little bit more will uh, completely enhance the flavor of the uh, sea bass. All right, chef over here, uh, a little topper. Here's that uh, cranberry reduction. Cranberry, sun-dried cherry, and fresh mandarin salpicon. We have a little bit of uh, fresh locally grown microgreens. This is from a, a farm here in Jefferson Town, Kentucky. What do we have, chef? We have uh, some... Uh, uh, Edible rose petals. Edible rose petals. That uh, we are gonna finish the dish off with. Chef Plymel, uh, are you ready for the uh, judges? I'm ready. Chef Ward, Absolutely. is your plate ready for the judges? Yes, All sir. right, stay with us with more Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live. I'm Tim Laird, and we'll see you right back with the judges' decisions. Thanks, Tim. The judges will be tasting those dishes coming up, and the chefs will be moving on to their second course. Stick around for that. The battle between Jack Fry's and Porcini continues next on our Secrets of Louisville Chef Showdown at Cisco. It's a clash of culinary titans this time on Secrets of Louisville Chefs. Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Harned here at Cisco headquarters in South Louisville where we've paired up two of Louisville's top chefs from Porcini, John Plymel, and from Jack Fry's, Sean Ward. Each chef has already prepared one dish each. Sean Ward with an amazing sea bass with black garlic. John Plymel a seared scallop atop cheesy polenta. They're about to move on to their next and final course. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's meet our judges for this showdown. Ron Mikulak is an esteemed food writer who's been widely read in the Courier Journal and now Food and Dining Magazine. Very nicely cooked. 
like garlic, very interesting. More tangy than I would have imagined the garlic to be. So far, so good. Danielle Gleason is a longtime culinary instructor at Sullivan University. We're glad to have her anchoring the panel tonight. I went scallops first. Uh, sauce is amazing. It has a great pop of flavor. Scallop is cooked perfectly. Polenta is nice. I grew up with it a lot creamier than this, but it's always nice to have it a little thicker and a little more bound. And the, the greens on top are just phenomenal with the garlic and the onions. And finally, you know he's an expert on sports. But Wave 3's Kent Taylor is also a big fan of food, too. Sea bass is delicious. I, I like the uh, Brussels sprout underneath. It's a nice touch. The presentation of this is phenomenal with the, with the polenta. Obviously very well cooked. Both are delicious. Uh, I'm enjoying both. The judges will crown a champion soon. Right now, let's go back to Tim Laird as the cooking continues. We have a second dish that's ready to go. Cisco has brought out some of the finest ingredients. Chefs, if you could go to the table, pick out what ingredients you want for the second dish, and we'll begin the showdown with our second dish. Gonna get some uh, gold Italian, local Italian oyster mushrooms, and some gray Italian mushrooms. I got uh, a little bit of fennel. A little bit of uh, garlic, shallot, and some orange. Prime beef tenderloin and uh, some foie gras. I've got some uh, domestic Colorado lamb, uh, very mild lamb, uh, delicious product. Chef Ward back in the uh, battleground uh, area first. Tell me, Chef, what did you uh, find in the uh, well, table? I was very fortunate. I found uh, some Colorado uh, domestic lamb. Wonderful. Which is uh, one of my uh, favorite products to use. And I also found some uh, pancetta. Oh. Chef Plymel, what did we find over there at the uh, counter? Uh, a few things. I have some uh, local fresh uh, mushrooms. I have some gray and gold Italian oysters, some gold chanterelles and a little bit of fresh thyme. And uh, there's not any porcinis in there though, is there? No, actually though, <laughs> we're gonna finish a sauce. Oh, in, in porcini mushrooms? We're gonna finish a sauce with white truffle butter. Oh, And oh. in that white truffle butter, we have a little nice. bit of porcini powder, some garlic, and some white truffle. Very good, and then I see, wow, look at this. Uh, this. Some foie gras, some very nice foie gras, and we're gonna do a torchon out of the foie gras, and then we have some prime beef tenderloin, which is uh, exceptional marbling in the tenderloin. We're gonna oh. Do some nice fillets, some nice turnovers for our guests. Oh, this is going to be incredible. I can't wait to see this take place. Chef, it looks like you have some uh, butter going in the dish. Uh, a little bit. All right. Uh, I'm just going to um, sear the lamb, give it a nice uh, golden brown. Wow. And, and that's just butter. Uh, there's a little bit of oil in there to fortify the butter. A little butter. Oh, a little stronger. higher smoking point. And, yes. Uh, help it out a little bit. Absolutely. We got a little uh, fresh brioche. We're gonna uh, we're gonna make a, a dried fruit uh, topping or like a bread pudding with our brioche. Oh, nice! Uh, we got some uh, nice dried fruit um, that will hopefully bring out the sweetness of the brioche. So great! Let me see what your competitors doing over here. All right, Chef Plymel, what's happening over here? We're starting to simmer a little bit of uh, shallot and a little bit of olive oil and butter. We just uh, cut our nice prime beef fillets. Beautiful. You know, you can look at that, look at the marbling. Exceptional Beautiful marbling. marbling. You know, that's going to be all flavor It is. There. It nice. is. And we're just going to lightly season um, our filet with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Perfect. I really like to keep the seasoning ultra simple just so the flavor, the true flavor of the meat comes through. Chef, what do you have going over here? Uh, here we have our dried fruit that we've added to our pan. So what's gonna happen, that dry fruit is gonna pick up all those juices, kind of uh, reconstitute a little bit? Absolutely, now we're gonna take our, uh, our brioche and just cube it up a little bit. Add it to our pan. Now our brioche is gonna to toast. And then we got some uh, very, very good uh, sherry vinegar. That we're gonna deglaze the pan with. And then our secret ingredient here, we're gonna 
We have a little bit of uh, white anchovy. Oh, see, that wasn't revealed earlier. You're, hot, you're, you're holding out on us. Just a little. But I'll tell you, white anchovy is great. It's delicious. This is gonna add just a little bit of a, a Mediterranean flavor to our dish. All right, Chef Plymouth, what do we have going over here? Uh, a couple things. We've seasoned our fillets. We have those going back to the grill. Right now I have just a little bit of cream and okay. I have a mushroom brodo, just a, a basic mushroom stock. We're going to do a mushroom risotto, so we try to you know, gear our product mushroom stock to mushroom risotto, just to give it a little bit more of a flavor enhancer. We have a little bit of a boil rice in here that, we've, uh, that we're going to create our risotto. And we have some, uh, some gold oyster and some gray oyster mushrooms that we're going to put along with our shiitakes and our gold chanterelles. Very nice. Then I'm going to just mince a little bit of fresh thyme and we're going to add that to our pot right here. All right, Chef, what do we got over here? A little citrus? Yes, sir. I got um, a little bit of uh, chicken stock in the pan. I'll squeeze a little citrus juice in it. And then I'm going to finish it with a veal, a veal reduction and we'll just paint the plate with that. I'm gonna saute some vegetables and uh, I've got some artichokes, some golden chanterelles, some fennel, and uh, a little bit of roasted garlic. And now tell me about this. This is pancetta. And what I'm gonna do is um, I wanna use the flavor from the fat on this to flavor my, uh, my vegetables. So I'm just gonna small dice this so that when it renders, the fat goes into the vegetables. Now, when are we gonna find out about the foie gras? Foie gras, we've done a, a torchon of foie gras. I'm just gonna place it on top of our prime fillets. And then once we coat the top of that fillet with our Madeira sauce, it'll warm, gently warm that piece of foie gras and just uh, oh. just be heaven on a plate. Wow. All right, both chefs ready for the plate up. This is it? That's it. They're both ready for the judging. Amazing eats from both chefs. Sean Ward from Jack Fry's and John Plymel from Porcini. The judges are tasting. And the time has come to crown a champion. Who will win and come out on top? We're about to find out. Our showdown champion for tonight is... It's a Secrets of Louisville Chef Showdown with pride on the line. Welcome back to Cisco headquarters here in South Louisville, everybody. I'm Kevin Harned. Call it Frankfurt Avenue versus Bardstown Road, Porcini versus Jack Fries, or simply John Plymel versus Sean Ward, two of the longest tenured chefs in town, and certainly two of the best. They've each had a room full of the finest ingredients to work with, and they've each amazed us with their creations. The lamb is delicious. I think the lamb is amazing. Just all of the flavor profiles that come together, the sweet, the sour, the tangy, it's, it's, mm -hmm. Chef Ward has really outdone himself with this one. I like him a lot. So, so far so good. It's time to crown a champion. And for that, we go to our chief entertaining officer, Tim Laird. Tim? All right, Kevin, the judges have spoken on a very short margin. Our showdown champion for tonight is Chef Plymouth! All right. Good job to both chefs. 
you both leave with a uh, something to be proud of. To even be in the competition was a, uh, a winning job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Congratulations, Chef Thank Flymel. You, Appreciate it. Well done. Again, by a very close margin, but you are our champion uh, on the showdown. So here you go. I'm glad to uh, give you the champion plaque. So on behalf of Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live, I'm Tim Laird, and we'll see you next time. Congratulations, Chef. Thank you very much. Great Thank job. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Thanks, Tim, and thank you all for watching. In my book, they're both winners. Hope you find time to make it down to Bardstown Road, visit Jack Fry's and Sean Ward, or maybe Frankfurt Avenue, or you can go to Porcini and taste the fine food from John Plymel. We appreciate you watching. We hope you join us again next time on Secrets of Louisville Chefs. For all of us at BMB Productions and for Tim Laird, I'm Kevin Harned. We'll see you next time.